What is going on everybody? It is Jarboss here today with the first episode of what I am hoping to be a long running series on the channel, Civilization 5. This is one of my favorite games of all time and it's just so much fun because you're basically just like playing through a new world every time and it's pretty much different every time. So I'm really excited. I hope you all enjoy. If you're new to the game, welcome. If you're experienced to the game, I'm sure we'll have a good time. I'm not the best player, but I will do my best. Um, so yeah, basically what Civilization 5 is, you start as a civilization and you found cities and you compete with other civilizations in the world to essentially control the world, and there's a few ways to do that. We'll get into those when we start setting up the game. So, speaking of which, let's jump right into that and let's get started on our civilization. I'm so excited for this series. I have a lot of things planned for it. A lot of stuff coming up on the channel. Just want to give a quick thing for why I haven't posted lately, because I've been preparing a lot of games, a lot of stuff. If you can tell, I brought a new microphone, so hopefully my audio sounds better. So, yep, we're going to do that. Let's get into the set of the game, and here you can see I have it mostly set up already. So we are going to be playing as Augustus Caesar, the glory of Rome. 25% production towards any buildings that already exist in the capital. Sounds like a bunch of lingo. Don't worry, I'll be able to explain it better as we get into it, um, what production and all that is. So... Every kind of civilization, these are all of the potential ones we could be facing in this uh, pack. So, a lot of cool ones. Feel free to pause and take a look at any of them and shout out if you want me to use any of them eventually. There's some, there's some cool ones in there, but we're going to start with the classic, the classic empire. So, the thing about civilizations is they have special units, and Rome has two war units that are special, the Ballista and the Legion. The Ballista is an early game siege unit that's extremely good for conquering cities. And the Legion is some is a unit that essentially costs iron to make, which we'll get into, as I said throughout the game. It's a uh, industrial area unit, and it's extremely powerful. I think it replaces the Swordsman. But yeah, so we're going to be Augustus Caesar. We're going to fight for the glory of Rome. Now, if you don't know, Rome had one of the largest empires in history, and so we're going to try and recreate that and just turn the map into a gaze of royal purple and Augustus Caesar ruling it all. So, our map type is going to be continents, basically two big continents where all the civilizations are spread out. Map type, we're going to get into that in advanced settings. We're going to be playing on Prince difficulty, it's probably the medium. Uh, it's about medium difficulty, I'm no king, but I'm pretty good at warlords, so I'm going to try and challenge myself a little bit. Like I said, I'm not the best. We're going to keep standard game pace, let's get into the advanced setup, that's the important part. So, yeah, here we go, we can pick civilizations, we're not going to do that because we're too cool for that. We're going to take on whoever the fucking game wants to throw at us, and we're gonna smash them. You got me? Now, I'm not the biggest fan of city-states, so I have those turned down. I could probably turn it up. Eight seems good. Eight seems good. Eight and eight. So, city-states can't expand. They're just there to be allies with the bigger civilizations, and we'll get into that. Map type cottons, standard prints, standard. We're gonna start in the ancient era. Here's the different eras, so we'll go ancient through classical, medieval, renaissance, industrial. Oh, sorry, the, um, legion is probably renaissance era. Uh, and then all those areas. The world is going to be 4 billion years. Uh, temperature is going to be temperate. We don't want too much snow or too much uh, marsh. That would be gross. Rainfall about normal. Sea level medium. Don't want too much sea. And resources uh, standard. Putting them on abundant would be no fun. So here are the victory types. You got science, domination, culture, and diplomatic. Essentially science is when you and your civilization build up a bunch of scientific buildings and have all of your people very educated and essentially leave this planet to go colonize other planets and you're essentially just better than everyone else and you're like flipping them off while you ride off in your spaceship. Domination is a fun one where you just kill everyone, destroy everyone, take every other civilization's capital city and rule the world with an iron fist. Cultural is where essentially you get your culture so high that the other civ's culture gets kind of dwarfed and you're able to overtake them that way and there will be a message that pops up. And diplomatic is not as fun, not sure if I'll try that one. Uh, maybe. We'll see. So, no time. Time victory is lame. Uh, here you got all this stuff. Uh, a lot of this stuff helps you, a lot of it hurts you. Um, I kind of don't want random personalities, because I want the people in the Civ to be like they were in real life. So, if Gandhi's here, he's probably not going to go to war with anyone. Quick movement. So, if you want to see the quick movement, uh, if you want to see my units running around, I'll be happy to turn that off. Just let me know. I can always change it. Um, Alright, I think we're ready to go. Let's get into it, and let's bring the glory back to Rome. The blessings of the gods be upon you, Caesar Augustus, Emperor of Rome and all her holdings. Your empire was the greatest and longest lived of all in Western civilization. 
and your people single-handedly have shaped its culture, law, art, and warfare like none other, before or since. Through years of glorious conquest, Rome came to dominate all the lands of the Mediterranean, from Spain in the west to Syria in the east, and her dominion would eventually expand to cover much of England and northern Germany. Roman art and architecture still awe and inspire the world, and she remains the envy of all lesser civilizations who have followed. O oh, mighty Emperor, your people turn to you to once more reclaim the glory of Rome. Will you see to it that your empire rises again, bringing peace and order to all? Will you make Rome once again center of the world? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? The glory of Rome will stand the test of time. I'm so excited to use Rome. This is actually suggested by my boy Jay Queens. He wanted to see exactly what Rome could do. So we're going to see exactly what Rome can do. All right. So looks like we have a very interesting starting point. So this is what the map looks like in general. Um, this is a settler. He'll found our main city when we're ready. This is our warrior. We can use him to run out. It looks like... Yeah, it looks like we're more towards the north. We got some tundra tiles, but it's not so bad because we got cotton, which is a luxury resource, and we got some cows for food, and we got some uh, wine, which is also a luxury resource. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty, it seems like a pretty good city. Being on the coast is very important because any city not on the coast cannot build naval units, and naval units are extremely important. So let's found the city. Let's get into it. Boom! There is Rome, the first city of purple and gold to inhabit the lands. So what we're going to do with the warriors, we're not going to stand around doing nothing, protecting a city that has one population. We're going to go looking for ancient ruins, like, um, we'll see if we, I'll show, we'll, 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 we'll know and we'll find them. It looks like there's some desert here. We got tundra and desert, like that far away. Alright, it seems legit. Alright, let's hop into the science tree. So science, science is a very interesting concept in civilization. Essentially, um, there's a bunch of sciences that'll go through the eras, like I was talking about, and obviously historians believe civilization started when agriculture was founded. So, because it essentially helped them sustain civilizations and cities and expand, blah, 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 blah. no one cares. <laughs> so we're going to go from there. And since we have the cows right there and we have a stone, I think that getting animal husbandry and mining right away are the most important. But I think growing is more important at this time. So we're going to get animal husbandry. All right, so we're going to work on that. Let's put it back. All right, so now our city needs to be producing something. Um, no point in building a worker 18 turns, but a scout can move faster than our warrior and find hopefully more ancient ruins to give our city something, bring something back home for Rome. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for this series, this game is so much fun. Essentially, what I just want this to be is just like a chill time where I get to sit back, play some Civilization, and hopefully entertain you all with some of my incredible knowledge. I'm just kidding. Uh, come on, no ancient ruins? Ooh, I got some sand though. Desert. That land's gonna be useless. Alright, nothing much to do. Let's just click next turn. Really bummed we haven't found any ancient ruins. Usually, hopefully, I try to get them in the first three moves, so I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. This land down here is gonna be really kind of useless, though. Alright, I wanna get on this hill. It'll give us more of a view. There we go. Those are ancient ruins. And it looks like we have hit the coast already, the southern coast. So, hopefully, this land is blocked off and no one's over there, and we can just put a city right here and all of that land basically ours. So we're going to grab those ruins next turn. We're just going to click next turn. Easy as that. Pretty easy. So I want to get into some of the basics. So as you can see in the top left, uh, we have the science, which is essentially, like I said, plus four science essentially means how fast this is going up. So this bar is four science. So it's going up four science every turn. This is our gold. We can use gold to spend and, and buy things like buildings or units eventually. We can also use it to, it costs to maintain units. So if we have a big army, we need a lot of gold to fund that army. Happiness is interesting. Uh, a lot of population in a lot of cities declines happiness because obviously that's how Rome originally fell. We're not going to let that happen. We're going to keep our people happy. And if it goes too low, you'll start suffering a bunch of defects and that's just no fun. This is our golden age counter, which will essentially let us add five per turn from excess happiness, which means that every turn it's going up five right now and we'll eventually hit a golden age, which will increase our gold in production. And this is our culture. We'll get into that. I'm sure we'll hit a social policy before I end the episode today. But let's go ahead and grab these ancient ruins. The meat oh, should inherit that the is earth, amazing. but That's not its mineral rights. We could have gotten. Sorry I interrupted the quote there by Jake Algetti, but... <laughs> 
Essentially what that one does is it gives you a free technology. And there it is. Discover the ruins or secrets of an advanced technology. Mining. I said I wanted animal husbandry and mining right away. That is too perfect. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's so perfect. 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 Oh, I'm saying perfect too much. Alright. So, is our scout done yet? Nope. Looks like we can just go next turn then. Alright. So I want to get like a good 20 turns or so done, that seems like a good benchmark to hit, as we see barbarians for the first time. So these guys are going to try and kill our warrior, so we want to stay on high ground or in marches because it will give us combat advantages if they try to attack us. Like if they tried to attack us right now they would lose very heavily because our warrior is on a hill. Oh, and there, obviously there's a scoreboard over here, so we're obviously in the lead because our population is ahead of everyone and we found the best ancient ruin in the game. And I could go over here, they're probably going to get attacked by the barbarians, so I don't want to do that. And it looks like, yeah, this this is another little island separate, kind of like Panama right here with the little area. But our city did grow by one, so obviously our happiness went down, but it allows us to work more tiles and get more production for the city and all that stuff. But our scout's about to be done, which is awesome. That'll give us another unit to use with what we please areas. So I'm going to send him north, and we're going to see if he can interact with any other civilizations. Send him west first. Alright. Yeah, you're going to cross that river. Warrior, you are going to keep heading to the east. The west, sorry, you're going west, he's going east. And we hit a natural wonder, the Barrington, Barringer Crater, sorry about that. And more ancient ruins, wow, that's awesome. So the Barringer Crater is essentially a... Uh, resource it grants golden science instead of say cotton which grants golden food uh hopefully this warrior doesn't choose to attack because that'd be kind of a dick move all right we need a worker for when animal husbandry etc get done don't care don't care next turn uh it starts off pretty slow no worries it'll heat up we'll get into some hopefully get some good battles with other civilizations as they do attack us oh these assholes hopefully we can win Oh, we won. Oh yeah, that was a really good battle for us. Alright, you need to cross that river. And it looks like, the, yes, I was right, we are at the pundit. Are we on our own little continent? That would be weird as fuck. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this first. Oh, that is awesome! So, essentially what happened was they found a bunch of future technology, and they got upgraded to spearmen. So, that is the next big military unit that's not a warrior. So that's awesome. So now that there's no chance that warrior can kill them. Yeah, they retreated. But I show no mercy. We're going to kill them. Move your arse, scout. Keep heading that way. There is no mercy for those who challenge Rome barbarians. Kill them all. Charge! Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Easiest battle of their lives. Alright, so we take that. We should get some gold from that, as we do. 25 gold. Awesome. Awesome. I really want to find one that gives us the culture boost, because that's pretty important. Uh, the culture boost helps us get social policies, so we're going to keep looking for those ancient ruins. Um, I think I'm good. Everything alright? Alright, perfect. Let's... Oh. So we'll have animal husbandry done next turn. And it looks like we can go next turn. As soon as the button becomes available. What's going on here? Hold up. The power. I'm going to use my powers here. And I'm going to teleport you to a time in which I finish this. Alright, that fixed it. Eh. Alright, going next turn. So, I really want to need another civilization as well. Right now we're in the lead because we've found some good ancient ruins. We are... Oh. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he... So we need a worker before we can go work on those cow that cow resource. But I'm gonna keep following the river as we hit more ancient ruins. Amazing, amazing. Oh, uh, so since we got that um, deer and ivory, there were some deer over there, but I think archery is more important because archers are an amazing unit. Now he's a little injured, so if we run into more barbarians, we're gonna have to retreat. But yes, okay, so this does just end right here. It looks like, unless that branches off into a whole other continent, but. I doubt it, so our spearman has successfully navigated the entirety of the, uh, the west coast, west coast. So that's nice, if we block that off, that means that land is basically ours, so, scout, please get that ancient ruin. And please be the culture boom. 
Yes, it was the culture boom. Received 20 culture. So that skyrockets us, skyrockets us to a social policy, which we will take care of here in a minute. All right, good job. Do you have another move? Yeah, you do. All right, cool. So we're going to send you, keep going this way. Eh, head south, head south. I want to see if there's anyone to the south of us. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're basically kind of a little bit separated from the world. So can I take you in our unit? All right. Let's make sure this doesn't branch off into some weird, like, oh, uh-oh. No, that looks like an end. Yeah, that looks like the end of the continent. All right, so next time we're going to get a pick of social policy, which is exciting. Uh, very important for the game. They help you grow your civilization early, and they provide a lot of really cool benefits. All right, yes, we can adopt a social policy, so let's do that. So we can pick the honor tree, which is military, basically. Liberty, which is civilizations which desire rapid expansion, so that's usually a really good one. We can get workers near the capital. Settler, ooh, I think I like liberty. Yeah, liberty's probably the best one to get early game. So we're going to go down Liberty. We'll get Honor eventually, boys, because I do want to take some noobs down. Alright, so Scout, keep heading south. And we get more Ancient Ruins. Awesome. We're finding a lot of Ancient Ruins. Alright, so let's make sure this ends up here. I'm just going to get on this hill. Oh, that's... That looks like it ends. That definitely looks like it ends. You can just kind of see the ocean right there, just towards the top of it. I really hope it doesn't expand, because to move an army through there would be an absolute burden. Oh my god, that would suck. Alright, let's see what we get from this one. 60 gold, not bad. Definitely good. Definitely good. Gold is never a bad thing. Fucking phone, so professional. Most professional, 10 out of 10. Wood rate, again. And there goes again. Oh, it doesn't end. Oh my god, it does not end. So, if this connects to another part of the continent, we might be in some serious trouble. I'm kind of hesitant about moving my warrior through there, but we might have to. Rome has grown. Amazing. I love it when Rome grows. Uh, we're going to move the scouts south. Still no ruins. Oh, it looks like we hit a bit of a pass there. Alright, warrior. Move on top of this mountain. Kind of nervous about this area. If it's its own little island, that would be dope, and I can found a city there, and that would be amazing. No one's over there. It looks like, yeah, we're kind of on our own. I really want to get a second city founded by getting another social policy, so we'll see how that goes. I want to get on this hill here so I have a better range of view. And we hit some barbarians. Oh, I just love it when I get to fight barbarians with my scout unit. They, the warrior actually can't get to me this turn, so I should be able to avoid them in this uh, forest area. So that shouldn't be an issue. Alright, move up one at a time, Spearman. Oh, is then. Oh, and there's some ruins up here. Good thing we came up here. Alright, so yeah, I could see a little, uh, maybe, maybe a, uh, city right here on this tile. We got the cows, we got that, we got two hills. Yeah, it wouldn't be a terrible city. Wouldn't be a great city, but not terrible, not terrible. Be a naval city, we could use it to dock ships and stuff, etc. Alright, what's up? Yep, so the warrior's trying to come after me, so I'm going to run like a little bitch, because that is what I do best. And we need German. Im Namen oh, des großen shit. deutschen Volkes heiße ich euch willkommen. Germany is annoying for two reasons. Germany is a warmonger. They build a ton of units and they try and kill everyone on their continent. Early game, you see how he's friendly? That's because he's trying to befriend me. He'll try and get open borders, scout my lands, and attack me. That's how it always goes with these assholes. So I think we have to take them out first. We do have the early game advantage by having the blessing. What the fuck is that? I'm going to deal with this fucking phone problem. Alright, Jesus freaking damn it, that was annoying. Alright, so I want to get a good 25 turns in. We'll see how long the video is and we'll go from there. But yes, Germany, please piss off and stay the fuck away from me. Alright, where are they? Okay, I found a German spearman. So they're probably over there. They're probably a good distance away. So there's probably someone else they can attack. And we're going to get that ruin first. So we're going to get the last two ruins. I'm pretty sure we'll get all the benefits, because I don't think you can get a benefit twice. Yep, there's the crudely drawn map, and the last one should show us a nearby barbarian encampment. So we got the worst two last, which is basically what all I ask for. So I want to get another city founded, and to do that we're going to need 16 more cultures. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own plumes. We often give our enemies the means of our own destruction. That's Aesop. So... Like I was saying, uh, we probably want to make sure we get uh, the 14 extra 
culture so we can get that settler. This is mine. Please piss off. Oh, we got another culture boom. I didn't think you could get them twice. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. So we're going to take a huge lead in this game very early compared to everyone else. Could we just have another technology done? Dear god, we're doing so well. Oh, I can get the wheel. Hmm. It's a lot of good stuff. Quarry. Probably, uh, bronze working's nice. It'll help us build up an army and take these fuckers out. Looks like they hit another civil, they hit our ancient ruins as well. Alright, let's just get masonry for now. You head back home. Okay, we need to get you to start heading back home. Um, probably gonna have to keep, this scout keep exploring. I don't really see a reason for him to do anything else. But we get to adopt another social policy, which is huge, because cities are very important, and getting cities in the right place is very important. Okay, this guy needs to piss off. I'm heading south. The thing is I can outrun him quite easily because he can only move one space at a time. I can move two. Alright, so this is definitely the best one. We need another settler right away. So we're going to get this social policy. Perfect. Perfecto. Alright, here he is. So now the question is, where do we want to put another city? You want to put them around luxury resources, so wine, mm, cotton is another one. I think I want it somewhere near this wine resource that was over here. Yeah, here it is. Oh, that's dyes. That's also a luxury resource, don't worry. Um, actually, I'm going to send the scout scouting a little more towards the west area, of the, the east area of the map, because... Actually, let's, let's just make sure we take it slow and he can head over there. I know it's a little dangerous, but... You win some, you lose some. You need to get back home, soldier. Alright. Did I start working on it? Oh, we're still working on a worker. Okay, we're all good. And I really don't need to build a monument since we got all that done. And we meet Quebec City, so it looks like Germany or somebody already met them. There has to be another civilization around here, because I don't think Germany would have met them yet. Ooh, we, get, we actually got the wine resource, so that's really... Rome's going to be a really good city, I can see it already. Oh, shit! That was literally the worst thing that could have happened. Oh, my God. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I'm gonna lose my fucking settler. Oh, the one thing I wanted was a barbarian not to be on that exact tile. Yeah. So now I have to get him back, which means my scout's gonna come, have to come up north. Him and my spearman have to take that unit back. That's dick, man. That sucks. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I have a plan. Alright. We're gonna have to use some of our gold early. I don't think a scout can beat him. Not not across a river. Oh, we're not gonna have enough money either. Shit. Alright, whatever. Uh, get over here and build a mine. Damn it, man. That sucks so much. That's totally my fault, though. I should have known not better to do that. Shouldn't have sent him out on his own. Should not have done that. <laughs> oh, I'm throwing the game away. We want to find Germany's capital. Looks like they're really low. Alright. Scout, you need to keep heading back up north. We'll explore the south later. There's Germany. Looks like they're up to something. Probably trying to go find my capital. They know the direction my scout came from. Alright. Construct a mine. That'll help our production. Oh yeah, Rome's going to be a really good city. And you, get your ass home. Is our worker still just right there? I really... Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's somewhere over there. Ah, shit, man. This is this is bad. That was such a waste. That's pretty much a wasted social policy. Hmm. I have to get him back. That's gonna be tough. Oh, that was such a bad move. So it looks like that's where the episode's gonna end. Is when we get that worker back. We have to have our troops convene at the general area. You need to move your ass back to Rome. Tall ass, man. Um, I'm still trying to think of a good location for this city. 
I kind of want to get the natural wonder, but it's surrounded by just desert, and desert is a horrible place to build a city. It will literally die. And it looks like someone else found it in another city. You see that sieve at 61 points? They probably did the same thing I did, except I lost my settler like a fucking idiot. Alright. So I'm gonna... The scout's at full health, so I'm gonna... He's gonna get back to Rome first, quite easily. And I'm gonna have him heal inside the border. Uh, you can't... Oh, my fucking... oh, it's a marsh, that's why. Oh, that tile just had to be a marsh, didn't it? Uh, I just gotta go around it. So I want to move these turns along, because like I said, I want to get 25 turn downs originally, but now we have a mission, so we're gonna get that. Son of a bitch, I need that settler so badly. Rome's gonna be a great city. Look at all that cotton. It's got the cows for growth. It's got horses. Oh yeah, it can definitely be a great city. Your job is to go find that goddamn barbarian. There's more can get attacked. For fuck's sake. Alright, we know he's north. We at least know that. If I can't find that so that we're gonna be so far behind. Oh, we're gonna be so far behind. We're doing so well until I fucked it up. Uh, oh, that's an encampment. He might not move off the encampment. He probably will, though. Because the game is just throwing barbarians at me at this point. Oh, gap sneeze. Do I? I think I can hold back. Alright, they should live this, but with very little health. Because we don't even have the honor tree yet. They kill him. Okay, yeah, they did. He lived. Oh, he actually beat them. <laughs> almost. He almost beat them. Uh, they can't chase me if I run this way. So that's what I'm going to do. And I need to go find that scout. So you, get into our goddamn borders. Heal up. So you move into the border. And heal. Alright. So he's healing. We're going to send the scout to go find our settler, and we're going to try and take it back with the spearmen. I swear to fucking Jesus, if I can't get that thing back, we're going to lose. Looks like another player found it in another city. It wasn't Bismarck, though, so that's good. At least they're not expanding like fucking Christian rabbits. Worlds who like shiny things the most. That's gold. He's at the fucking bottom. Alamau. So it looks like Germany won't be that big of a problem after all. All right. Get your ass into there. Oh, we got some bananas. Alright, he might have headed north. He's healing. I want to find him before I send my, war my best unit to go kick some ass. If I had a settler, I know I would be just along with that sieve up there at the top. I would be around there. How happy are those whose walls already rise? Virgil. Interesting. Alright, science. Let's see what we got. Pottery, the wheel. I think the wheel's the best way to go because we want to connect the cities. It also gives us the water mill. Alright, just stay in the woods. Alright, there he is. I, that might be him. If he attacks into the woods, he shouldn't be able to kill us. Um, we finished that. Walls. Pyramids. Pyramids wouldn't be bad. You can basically build all the- Ah, it's not worth that. Let's get an archer. Um, oh, you finished the mine. Awesome. Do we have trapping yet? No, but we have, uh, masonry, so we can build a quarry. Alright, so like I said, if that guy tries to attack into the woods, he should not be able to kill our scout. Public declaration, I'm guessing they're protecting- Yep, they're protecting that city-state that we met earlier. Oh, I don't want this video to run too long, but I have to get that set. Oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. I need him. Oh, fuck. Damn it. And I basically just go next turn because he still needs to heal up. Shit, man. The scout goes down. Oh, that sucks. Alright, you're healed up. You need to move your ass and go find my settler. Uh, the turns are going by pretty quickly, which is why I'm trying to get a few extra in, trying to go get that settler back wherever he is. Ah, uh, I might just throw the I just might have thrown the game away in the first 25 turns. Not usually how safe games go, but it is possible. Alright. 
I'm gonna check north first. Rome grows. Awesome. Oh, Alright, let's go next turn. I wanna at least find him so I can have an idea of what I'm gonna try and do. The archer will be nice. And we get cotton done. Nice. I like that. You can dig it. Alright, head to this tile. Alright, I don't think he headed into that corner. I think he headed this way. Oh, he could have gotten so far. Oh, if he's gone, I'm gonna kill myself. Oh. Oh. God damn it. Losing a settler is gonna cost us a big amount. <laughs> oh, wait. There's a warrior up here. Oh, there's my settler! Okay. We got a game, boys. We got a game. If that guy tries to attack us up a hill, we have a chance. Alright, so there's the barbarian encampment. There's two of them. I might have to wait for an archer, but I see the settler. That's the important thing. No, oh, he didn't. Alright. How much damage did it? 8 4, and that's attacking me. So if I get here. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this tile. That way, only one of the warriors can attack us. And. We're on a hill, so we have the combat advantage. Alright, so let's see what these barbarian fuckers want to do. We'll also have an advantage attacking them from going down a hill, which is amazing. As he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try and get around us. But, here comes reinforcements in the archers, which is amazing. That's perfect time, Rome. I can, I'm not gonna build another settler. Um, pyramids aren't that bad. I don't really need another worker when I'm going to get a social policy that gives me a worker. I don't really want three cities is the thing. I don't really have a place to put one city specially. Let's just get another archer. We got money. Alright, the quarry is done. Let's Can we build on the cotton? Which, which do, what, what do we need? Tech? No, calendar. Okay. Make sure to get that one as soon as possible. So over the cows for now then. Alright. If I attack them, why is it a minor victory? It's fortification. Alright, heal up. Let's see if we can get you to full health. Because few units fight at better at full health, obviously. He's fortifying. So if I can get the archer over there, we should be able to wear them down. Okay, yeah, you need to move your ass, archer. Alright, so we have another policy. This is the... We can get this one, which... Plus one production in every city, and plus 5% in cities when constructing buildings. That's really good. Or we can get another worker, and construction rate increases by 25%. The next social policy is going to take a little while. Let's just get this for now. I know it's going to put us... Waste a few turns, but... I would rather have it than wait on it. And I'd rather just have another worker for when I take my uh, guy back here. Mm -hmm. So you just stay fortified. Alright. That time I had to sneeze. Mm, sorry about that. You know what? I'm going to end this one right here. We will siege the barbarians and take our construction worker back in the next episode. I'm just stopping it because it feels like it's running a little long. It's probably going to be a really long episode. But thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoy it. Show your support on this series, and we will get back to this in the next episode. Thank you. Have a good one.